everybody what's up welcome back to a college days in my life or a week in my life we're starting on a wednesday though so that's the difference i am getting ready to head to class i have my retail planning and buying class we um go in once a week and do an xl um practice i guess you could say XL is not my finest point, and I am <laughs> definitely learning that. I don't feel like bringing my backpack today, so we're doing this little tote bag. I feel so, like, toady. I don't know, and I also kind of feel like dressing up for class. I couldn't tell you why. We've got a semi-busy day today. We've got class coming back. I have a meeting on Zoom. Um, spin tonight. I don't know. I guess it's not that busy, actually, but putting on the Air Forces. I curled my hair last night, and I love how the curls hold so well in these extensions. All right, here is the fit for class today, and then we've got to hit the road. Um, shirt is this sweater cardigan thing. I'm choosing to leave it buttoned. You could also wear, like, a cami underneath and, like, layer it. This is from Lucy Paris. I'll link it down below. It's so soft and fuzzy. I really, really like it. Necklaces. Top ones from Serafina Jewelry. This is Gold Hour Co. Everything else same. I'm wearing the Sephora collection, best skin ever um, foundation. I really like it. Like I barely put any on. It looks so natural. Jeans are from American Eagle. I really like them. They're a little bit more of a boyfriend fit, I guess you could say. And then Nike Air Force One. All right, let's head to class. Okay, if you guys watched last week's video, you know that after this class, last week with Excel, I was so overwhelmed, I was so discouraged, and I'm getting the hang of it. Like, I kind of realized that Excel, the point of it is to make things easier for you, and so you don't have to constantly put in formulas, and I'm getting so much more used to it, and you guys, I don't know, some of you have probably done Excel for a while, but this is the first class that I've used Excel in like this, so I'm really proud of myself, I'm happy I went, I asked lots of questions, because why would, if you have a question to ask, that's why you went to class, you know? So, I'm out of breath from walking. I wanna go back. I kinda wanna go for a walk. It is so nice outside. Back from class, today's lunch, very fancy. Just a couple of Trader Joe's chicken tender nugget things. I'm gonna pop them in the microwave. Thank you guys for the feedback on my last video about this candle. I am ready to just clean it out and make it a cup. And a lot of you guys said to just go put it in the freezer and then you'll be able to take the wax out a lot easier. So I'm gonna try that out. I can't wait to like drink coffee out of this. It'll be so fun. I have been wanting to take a picture in this shirt because it's so cute. It's from Rock and Rags. And I haven't had the chance to, and um, <laughs> I'm just laughing at myself. I just did like a self-timer photo shoot um, on <laughs> My windowsill just right there and i had a good time and it was fun and i'm about to post these so go follow my instagram i did your carolyn drinking some gingerberry kombucha and brooke and i just hired on our first intern for gals on the go um we have kombucha on the doing well daily i don't care if it's on anything else what do i do what do i do what do i do Gosh, I need to stop putting my camera on the hand sanitizer bottle. It just never works out correctly. Oh my god, frick. Okay. Right, don't really like hold it like this. Um, all right. So, anyways, like I was saying, we just hired on our first intern for Girls on the Go. She's actually a student here at UGA who I'm actually friends with. And she reached out to me and she was like, I want to get wiping this off i want to get more involved with the podcast industry if you guys need any help at all let me know and we've been thinking about the idea of hiring on a podcast intern mainly to a paid podcast intern by the way um i want to pay our interns um mainly someone who will help us think of topic ideas guest outreach like if we have a guest that we want to reach out to to have them on the podcast have her you know reach out to them you know on our behalf and come up with new guest ideas or she's pretty into social media so she probably knows of people that would be great for the show we literally have our like kickoff meeting right now like we we provide her with a little bit of info of what we want her to do but we haven't given her much yet and 
we're like meeting her today. Well, I've met her, but Brooke hasn't met her. And she literally already sent like a whole deck of like ideas and already created like this whole portfolio basically for her. It, it was incredible. So I'm so impressed. I love stuff like that. So we're going to go have our Google Hangout with her now. I'm excited. Gals on the go. Yay. And a new podcast came out today about self-love and self-worth. Oh my gosh. It's such a good episode. Like it's so good. Go listen to it. But anyways, I'm going to go hop on right now and I'll talk to you guys after. Guys, Brooke and I are co-working right now. <laughs> co-working space? Actually. We're co-working. Well, we heard this is a thing when you like sit on like FaceTime or Zoom with someone. I and have you just heard that's a thing. Do work because Brooke do and I were- talk? That's my question. Like, I don't know. I think it's just like to be with someone while you're working. Like Brooke was like, okay, I'll let you go. Like, I know you have a lot to do for school. And I'm like, no, I'm like, we're like working together. Like you're working, I'm working. A little chatter in between. <laughs> it's, a, it's like we're at a coffee shop together. Oh. It is, it is. But we know where that usually ends. Usually it's chatter the whole time. Dude, I think <laughs> once or twice when you were here at UGA, we like went to Thousand Faces Coffee and just simply yes. talked the whole time. <laughs> Anyways, I just thought I'd bring you guys in on this little intimate moment here. <laughs> Okay guys, it's literally 73 degrees outside now. It is warm to the heck up and I have schoolwork that's due tonight. My reading circle assignment that's due every Wednesday night. And then I also have um, something for my creativity class that I need to do. And then I also have some like YouTube random email things I need to get done. So I'm gonna go to College Square. I think that's what it's called in downtown Athens. They just have all these tables outside blocked off like the streets blocked off it's so nice i love it i went there a lot last semester but it's been so cold but now it's nice out and yes i've changed my outfit again because why not that's what i do and then i threw over top this like jacket thing in case i get cold it has a little hood um it's literally like it's so cool it's just one of those top half things i don't really know same necklaces my favorite princess polly sweatpants and then my windsor smith shoes so yeah fun little fit and we're gonna get some work done for a couple of hours. Look who came to join me. It's so beautiful out. I just shut my computer. My head's starting to hurt from looking at it so much, but I got some stuff done. Mm. All right, we have. I've gotten fries at Chick Fil A, and now I'm. <laughs> I'm just. This is what happens when you. Balance. It's all about balance, but it happens because we're sitting here, and there's all these places. So I just, you just sit here longer and longer. Anyways, I'm not justifying myself. I'm doing this. So I got a green juice, and then we're gonna take a good old ginger shot. Cheers. Hey guys, so we are back now. We went for a little walk after we were done working and I met so many of you guys today. So thank you so much for saying hi. It's so funny. Just sitting at College Square. I guess a lot of people were just walking through. Um, but it was so nice. I'm so glad I went outside. Got a lot of work done. I just made the decision to cancel spin today because I just wasn't feeling it. And I know it's like, okay, what's the excuse? But I don't know. I just don't think I'll get, I don't think it'll be a good workout for me today. I just feel like I'm just gonna BS it. I've done workouts the last two days and I just, my body, I can just, is just like, you know, maybe not. Or like Delaney and I talked about maybe hitting the treadmills instead or just doing something different instead of like spin three days in a row. Um, so yeah, I'm fine with it. Honestly, Delaney and I want to like cook dinner, maybe sit on the balcony because the weather's so lovely. Um, and I just have a lot of homework and I don't know. It just feels right. It's time to start making dinner. It's super cozy in here right now. Just lit the candle. Boiling some water now. We're gonna do yellow rice, black beans, and green beans for dinner tonight. One of our go-tos. We've got the yellow rice. We've got black beans. We've got the green beans. It's a great meal. It's so filling, so delicious. Um, and we haven't gotten tired of it yet. So that's tonight's dinner. <laughs> Also, you guys just took the candle out of the freezer and you were right, freezing it just gets all the wax out. And now I can use this as a cup, Delaney. I'm so excited. Another cup <laughs> of the cupboard. So yeah, we'll run this to the dishwasher, but wow, that was, that was easy enough, exciting. Hi friends, so I didn't get to eat dinner because my appointment for my spray tan is at 7.45 and the rice was still cooking so Delaney's finishing it up. I'm gonna miss once we graduate um, 
our roommate dinners. They're some of my favorite, but we are headed to Jess, Golden Sunless Tan here in Athens. She's amazing. I recommend her to actually everybody. She personalizes the color to your skin tone and makes it look super natural. And I love it because I don't have to wait in line anywhere. Like you just go, you have an appointment. It is, it is great. I'm just personally really, really bad at self tanning. Like I self tan my face sometimes, but other than that, it's just something I'm willing to, you know, go the extra mile for. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's obviously Valentine's Day this weekend and Ryan and I have some fun plans that you guys will see on my Instagram story and Instagram. So go follow me there, at Danielle Carroll. I'm not going to vlog it because I want to, you know, enjoy my time with him. I'm so excited though. Valentine's Day in general is just, it's just a, a day of love. Like, love, friendships, love family like i need to like do something for my family like i don't know i just think it's just a good time to remember that we all like it's just such a good time to remember like it's about love like spreading love happiness like i don't know i've been single more than i have been in a relationship for sure in, in the years of valentine's days i've experienced and i love it every time you know and we talked about it a lot in today's episode gals in the go you guys should totally check it out so kind of busy how did you get the spray tan it takes literally five minutes um, and then I'm coming back and I eat dinner and while I'm eating dinner We have a meeting for the strike stylist. So yeah, I'm one of the stylists for strike magazine So we have a all stylist meeting tonight at 8. Just got my spray tan. I am on the meeting now So here we go. I have to join for my phone. I feel so bad Dinner now. It's a very Iconic moment is about to happen. You guys might not appreciate this. Lenny's a big TV movie watcher. She's seen them all She always watches things before me Sees it like watches like you know you're just yeah I'm on top of it she's on top of it so I've been watching the wild Ryan and I just finished it and I told Delaney about it and usually what we'll do is like okay what was it Bridgerton she had already seen all of it but she sat and watched it with me and like she likes to see other people I like reactions. to see other people's reactions to things that <laughs> I've already seen yeah like we've done, we've done that with so many shows like I can't even think of them all right now but like a lot of shows where she'll sit and stay quiet while I like experience it for the first time. Anyways, we're gonna start the wilds again and Woo! I'm gonna watch her watch it. Woo! It's a good show. I'll watch it. The wilds on Netflix on Amazon Prime. We're gonna do it. I also have to work on an assignment, so it kinda works out perfectly because I've already seen it, so I can like do two things at once. So also I've cool. already seen the last ten minutes of the finale. Yeah, so. she also just watched the last episode, so Yeah. But it really, okay. it really like it's not. Well, you I didn't saw it. I yeah. Didn't catch on to much, There's so, so much. To, like it's so good. I just. Can't. Anyways, we're gonna go watch that now. Peace. <laughs> we had just finished episode one of The Wild. Delaney's liking it. It's good. She is liking it, and I got my assignment done. That's due literally in 30 minutes. So. All right, you guys. See you in the morning. my spray tan I love it it just came out so naturally so beautiful she's amazing um my hair is still just the same curled yesterday I actually took my Dyson air up the brush head and just kind of gently brushed through the curls to kind of soften them a little bit I've got my dry bar roller in right now just to give some volume and I'm just deciding I just put in I have these um eye patches or under eye patches should I say from Florence by Mills they're called Swimming Under the Eyes Gel Pads. I never know if these things actually work, but um, they feel really good and it feels like self-care. So um, I was just really inspired by this week's episode of Gals on the Go. We just talked about like starting to get ready a little bit earlier so you're not in a rush and you can do things like put your hair in a roller and eye patch. I was like, why not? Yeah, I'm about to go to class, but why not? Why not? I'm also kind of dressed up for class, but that's one of the reasons I love being a fashion merchandising major. No one looks at you weird. It's all accepted here. So, just got dressed. I've been wanting a reason to wear this, and it just feels like the right day. It's 57 degrees outside. It's not raining yet. I'm gonna need to bring my umbrella, but um, it's nice and cloudy and just cozy out. I love this top from the Indigo Child. It comes with this like taupe cami underneath, 
and then you can put over top this beautiful blouse like I literally love it so much necklace is from Serafina jewelry jeans are also from indigo child they're from the brand pistola I love them they're so so soft so comfortable and I'm, I think I'm gonna do the tote bag again to class that was kind of a fun different vibe I'm gonna go for these I wore them yesterday also they're just they're easy to put on. These are from Love AJ, I believe. They're just like these small ones and I like how they have a clasp so you can just put them on all in one take instead of like having to put the back on. And I'm not gonna put on makeup because we have to wear a mask on campus at all times, obviously. And um, what's the point? What's the point? My current favorite perfume, Mugler Fly Away. It's on my Amazon shop, link down below. I don't know how to describe it but it smells amazing. I'm gonna finish getting ready. I'll show you guys what it looks like without all this, but thought I'd check in. All right, you guys just took my hair out of the roller and I just love how it just gives the front pieces a little oomph. And yeah, we're gonna head to class. I drove to class. Okay, don't hate me. Um, we are headed to meet with my fashion brand management group. And then right after that, we're all going to class for that class. So, yep. It's so quiet and calm on campus right now. Back from class, Delaney's in a Zoom class right now. I'm eating leftovers from last night, rice beans and green beans for lunch. It's already 2.30, wow. I just want everyone to see my setup here. I ate and had my TikTok my phone leaning against the candle and watch TikToks. So, just a peek into my life there. <laughs> just put on this sweatshirt. Still have the bottom half on, but I just wanted to get super cozy. And I just remembered that we ran the dishwasher last night, which means my candle cup should be done. I feel as if I should run it again, or maybe I'll hand wash it. I still see some wax, I think. Got the Study Beats playlist on, vetiver candle burning. Gonna sit down and prep for my quiz I have. Gonna sit down and prep for that quiz I've got. Get that over with, it's due Saturday, but I just wanna do it today. I can't do it, I can't do it. I'm falling asleep at the wheel, AKA my computer, AKA it's time for that afternoon coffee. I don't do this every day. However, today is a day that I need it because I'm still doing so much score and it'll be good for me. It'll be a little pick-me-up, if you will. Um, I have these mugs linked in my Amazon shop. Always linked down below, by the way. I'm getting better about it. And I just wanna say thank you all to all the commenters on my last video that said, we like your coffee montages and keep doing them because I'm gonna keep doing them. Just the smell is already waking me up. Hello, Ryan. You're on camera. <laughs> What's up, everybody? <laughs> you guys, I have to do a kahoot for my textile econ class, and I'm having so much fun in flashbacks to high school. Anybody else? Also, I'm currently fourth. Let's go. You guys, I just submitted my quiz, and I did the kahoot as well. And, oh, I love crossing things off my to-do list. I'm underestimating myself, clearly. I got a lot more done in the last few hours than I thought I was going to. Um, all I have left for homework this week, which is a blessing because I, I always get so overwhelmed and then I get it done. It's just, but I think it's good because when I'm overwhelmed, I like really get it done. Like if I'm more stressed, I don't know. That's just how I work. Um, so now I just have a quiz for our walking class and I have to reply to three projects for our brand management class. Like we submit them all by tomorrow and then we have to respond to three of them, like little discussion posts by Sunday and I want I'm waiting for people to post them so I can just do it now, but they no one's posted theirs yet. You guys, I just got Taylor's PR package for her new graphics that she's just come out. Well, they're not graphics, they're literally photos that she took. Um, TK's Juicy Polls, if you guys don't know her, who are you? Um, she just did a collaboration with Ron Rebellious. I'm so excited for her. She texted me and was like, she came out, she's coming out with six prints, actually today on Valentine's Day, as you guys are watching this. Also, happy Valentine's Day. I'm just realizing this is going up that day. Um, she's releasing six prints with Ron Rebellious. So I picked out this one. It's wet paint. Those are her lips, her juicy lips. That sounds really weird, but she does. Um, and then this one, obsessed. And then she like included so many fun goodies. Like what a PR package right here. 
Um, so these are all the prints all together. It's just so on brand for her. I'm so proud of her. Like this is so up her alley. This really cool thing. We've got wine wicks, candles. This smells amazing. I've never tried Smart Sweets. I've heard they're incredible. Summer Fridays mask, like, okay. This is the mascara I use, Benefit Roller Lash. Love tint, I use Benetint all the time. Never tried Love Tint, so I'm excited. A Ron Rebellious necklace, of course. Um, and yeah, other fun little good. And this is the Starbucks cup that she always drinks out of, or from the same um, gal that makes it. So it's so cool that she collaborated with her because it's something that she really loves. I love stuff like that when it's just so organic. So, so proud of her. I know it's dropping today. They're going on sale on Ron Rebellious uh, at 12 p.m. Pacific time today. Guys, I've literally been waiting for this for almost two months now. I am so excited. Finally got the R Place pan. I saw this on an Instagram ad, and it's so funny. I saw everyone posting about it, like, immediately after. I swear, my phone hears me. It's so crazy. But um, I got this pan. I'm so excited to cook vegetables with it. That was the main reason I got it, because you can steam the vegetables. You can just put them in pop this lid on and it just oh my gosh it's incredible i just got the stone color they also have like pink and other fun colors i'll link this down below um and then this you can fry things in if you want you can put dumplings ah, i am so excited and it's just gonna change the game and this comes with it and you can just pop it on there i mean come on that's incredible so I'm very excited <laughs> hi guys so it's a little bit later now just kind of relaxed for a little bit if you will put on um just this really comfy t-shirt from at jess by design on instagram she's the cutest um i've just been kind of like snacking i had hummus and pita earlier and but i'm hungry again <laughs> it's like eight o'clock i'm gonna have a progresso soup because that just sounds incredible and we just don't really have anything else this is my favorite one um hearty chicken and rotini that's that on that um, have to plan our podcast tomorrow. We're recording with Remy. She's also known as Veggiekins on Instagram, and I'm really excited. She also has a YouTube channel. I'm just so excited to hear about her health journey. Um, we haven't had a lot of health people on the podcast, so that'll be cool. I'm also doing a photo shoot tomorrow with Stephanie Lopez. She is an Athens photographer. She's a student here. Has the sickest photos, and I just need some new, you know, profile photos, just some new, like, you know, professional photos and she reached out and I was like, let's do it. So um, I actually also have to plan those outfits tonight as well. But um, yeah, that's kind of just the plan. Kind of having a me night. Oh baby, oh, I wish I had like French bread right now. That would hit different for sure. I've learned to put paper towels over things when I heat them up, especially if it's like super pasta because the sauce just gets everywhere. Guys, we are about to have a night. We've got the chicken noodle soup about to play to all the boys I've loved before. Like, let's go. Okay, so I just tried on and planned my outfits. I want them to be more simple, something more classic, I guess. So this is gonna be one of my looks. It's just, I mean, you guys will see it tomorrow, but just like a white ribbed top, blue jeans, a black faux leather blazer over top with this simple necklace and some booties. I think that'll be great. And then this one's a little bit more fun. We have my black leather leggings and then this top from Sincerely Nude on Instagram. It looked really good with these on and some boots. So a little bit more funky, a little bit more form-fitting. Had to pause, but oh my gosh, guys, I'm on the hot tub scene. You guys know. Um, I don't know really what got into me, but I decided to just really clean. Like, I cleaned my mirror. I cleaned, like, a top of my lampshades because I noticed dust was building up. Like, there's just things you don't think to clean on a day-to-day -day basis that... If you're watching this, this is a sign to clean your fan. I still need to go again one more time. I, I don't even want to gross you guys out too much, but my fan, I looked up for the first time and noticed that there was so much dust on each blade that made me think when it spit. I don't even want to go there. So I cleaned that off. I did that once last summer. Definitely probably good to do this once a month. Gonna start doing that. I cleaned over here, like my little tabletop thing, cleaned the neon sign. It had some dust on it. Like you guys might be really grossed out, but I just didn't notice until like really looking at it clean my lamp just like random like like literal dust cleanup burning this wine wicks candle it smells so good it's i think it's called like sea salt and orchid it smells so amazing but yeah it's 10 o'clock kind of thinking about doing my skincare and hopping in bed and just vibing out i want to see if anyone's posted their project so I can do those discussion posts I was talking to you guys about. Oh, I hung up Taylor's thing. I like switched out the coffee and went over there for this. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna get in bed and watch the rest of this. Probably go on TikTok, maybe read a little. 
So yeah, see you guys in the morning. is still on sale link down below um i wrote three things i'm grateful for three things i'm like affirming into the day um and i was like just i'm so excited for the day and then i took i decided to do some journaling or like a morning brain dump sometimes i call it um this is my friend katie pilates design i absolutely love it um and sometimes i don't do anything particular i literally just write whatever i'm feeling like wholeheartedly like I just brain dump and um I don't know what happened but a switch flipped and then all of a sudden I just like started crying <laughs> and I just got really sad for random reasons and I don't know I think that's good I think emotional release is really important and like I woke up in such a good mood and I am still really excited for the day we're recording a podcast I'm doing this fun photo shoot that I'm really pumped about and it's just like, then I just get sad about random things that I think about and it's like, you can't be mad at yourself. You just gotta let yourself feel your emotions. I'm a big proponent of just feeling your feelings um, and not pushing them back because they're gonna come out eventually. And if you keep pushing them down, then it's just worse and worse. So, I don't know. But, yeah, I just thought I'd document this. I'm also really hungry, so maybe I'm getting cranky. I've just been like drinking coffee without food and I think it's hitting me. I need a shower. I want to use my Dyson Airwrap. I haven't like done the curling feature with the Dyson Airwrap on my um, long hair and I'm excited to see how that looks. Like a blowout look. Um, that's what I'm going for for the photo shoot today. This morning's breakfast, we have scrambled eggs and these Dave's Killer Bread bagels. I got the everything ones. They have like a ton of fiber in them, which is awesome and they're so delicious. So I love Valentine's Day. I just had my breakfast drinking some ice water. Um, I just love it. I think it's just full of love. I've talked about this already, I think, in this vlog. I thought it would be fun to send my parents something on Valentine's Day. And obviously, I'm sending my mom flowers. However, for my dad, it's a little trickier because, you know, like, I don't really want to send my dad flowers. I mean, I think he'd actually kind of like it, but... Dad, if you're watching this, because you really might be, and it might not come yet, please just skip like 30 seconds. I am sending my dad an edible arrangement because um, he loves fruit. And I think edible arrangements are so fun and they're a great thing to get guys, I feel like, especially when it's something like what you send. Like, yeah, I could order him something on Amazon, but like I wanted it to be like a happy Valentine's Day thing. These carnations are so beautiful. It says romantic, but you know, just like mother-daughter love here really in valentine's day mode right now <laughs> i decided to i'm about to make a self love club playlist i don't know i'm just like in a mood um like you know just empowering songs songs to make you feel good when you just need some extra self-love this week's episode of gals and goat clearly really inspired me so i'm making a little cover for it on pick monkey do you guys like it go check it out my spotify is um danielle marie all right guys, I just finished the playlist for now. I'll probably add more as I go, but I had so much fun. This is fun little Friday morning hype up. I just made like a little TikTok about it too. I've got some Lizzo, Cardi B, Demi Lovato, Taylor Swift, just like, the, you know, some good songs. These are songs that personally hype me up. Lots of our Anna Grande, of course, so, and Megan Thee Stallion. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, my Spotify is just Danielle Marie, um, and I love this little, thing I need. So anyways, I have to go shower, but that was a fun little thing I didn't intend on doing. Currently attempting to style my hair. I'm first just blow drying it a little bit, and then I'm gonna do the Dyson Air app. I also um, need to do my makeup. I'm just trying to figure out like how much I should get ready for my shoot before we record. I also have a little bit more homework to do, but right now I'm doing my Dyson blow dryer and this Bumble and Bumble hair dresser's invisible oil and just kind of like lightly drying my hair because it's not gonna air dry as fast as my 
old hair <laughs> used to because it's just thicker and longer. Okay, hi guys, update. We have the whole bottom layer of my hair done. This half, I have my front piece in a roller. I only have 15 minutes till we're recording with Remy and I still have my whole other side of hair. This takes so much longer with longer hair, I like forgot. Um, so I'm only styling my hair extensions now with my Dyson Airwrap. Like, did I just go to the dry bar? Maybe. Like, literally maybe. What? Okay, now I have to get ready to record, but I will, um, link this down below if I can find it in stock because... What is this? Okay, that literally took me so long to do. I'm used to it taking, like, five, ten minutes. Um, but it's all very exciting. Uh, now I'm hopping on Google Hangout with Brooke and Remy. Remy Park from Veggiekins. We're talking about her health journey, being a vegan, and also she is sober. So it'll be really interesting to hear about her story, her journey, just with everything. Um, so yeah, I'm joining now. All right, ready? One, two, three. All right, you guys, the interview went so well. It's such a good episode. I learned so much. It was so cool hearing her story, so that'll be up next Wednesday. I just did my makeup, went a little bit more dramatic because obviously in photos not everything picks up as much. I'm so excited. I haven't done a photo shoot, let alone like a creative photo shoot like this in so long. We're actually shooting at the Indigo Home Loft upstairs. It's like where they keep all of their inventory and they do shoots there and stuff, but it's so cool and it's supposed to rain. Um, so we were gonna do parking deck vibes, but honestly, this is so much more cool. I can't wait to show you guys the space. The owner, Morgan's amazing and is letting me use the space and I'll have to show you guys. It's literally like my dream. Like it's what I wish my New York City apartment would look like. So I'm so excited. I'm shooting with Stephanie Lopez. It's gonna be a good time. But until then, I ordered lunch. Oh, I got maple. Oh, smiley face, so sweet. Maypole is amazing. You basically pick your base, um, two sides, and a meat of any sort. Um, so I did their mac and cheese, green beans, brown rice, and their chicken. It's divine. My mouth's literally watering. Um, so this is my little lunch. And then I'm going to get dressed into my first outfit. Go to Indigo Home. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, I'll talk about it. Just a gal on the go here. I literally look like the queen of hearts or something. Drinking kombucha, about to submit one final assignment, and then we're done for schoolwork. And then I'm gonna go take the do the photo shoot. So I'm charging my speaker too, like I'm pumped. All right, you guys, I am about to head over to Indigo Home. I'm so excited. I'm listening to my self love club playlist. Here is the first look. I'm doing super simple because I want to be able to use these photos for a while. Yes, this is the first look. I'm so excited. All right, guys, I'm here with Stephanie. <laughs> and we are just um, kind of organizing the little area. This is upstairs of Indigo Home, you guys. It's the coolest thing. Like, this couch, obsessed. This is really cool. This chair, this beautiful view. So cool. We're so excited. I'll have her Instagram link down below so you guys go check it out. And yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna have some fun. Yeah. I'm pumped. <laughs> I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you. Do just what you want. Let's go. You're the one I try. Alright, guys, this is the second look. We're gonna do a stool moment against the white wall. Guys, I can't wait to see these photos. They are so cool. Yes, let's show them a sneak peek. Hey, guys, it's so. Okay. So. Fun, you guys like this place has just been so fun she has the best ideas you do grad photos too right yes yes, yes. so if you're looking to do grad photos hit up Stephanie ah, so, so fun cool. you guys don't even know you guys that was literally so much fun I am so glad I did I haven't done a photo shoot like that in so long and Stephanie was just so sweet and like she was like yes girl like she was just hyping me up it was so sweet the space was awesome it's so my aesthetic and we really just had fun we were only in there for an hour and I think I did like three or four looks I just kind of changed things up I'd like put on the blazer take off the blazer switch to the blazer and then I switched my pants into a different shirt like it was just I don't know I'm really 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 excited and I'm so thankful to her for shooting with me so um, yeah, if you guys live in Athens, check her out. She's so talented and so sweet, like I said. I just thought I'd update you guys on that. I just got some packages in the mail, so I'm gonna open them and show them to you guys. I'm excited. You guys! 
guys, I am so proud of Remy and Alicia. They came out with a Tarte palette. How exciting for Pretty Basic, their podcast. I'm just so pumped for them. I literally think it came out today and I got it today, which is so impressive on their PR part. Look at them. Um, wow, this is actually stunning. Pretty Basic Time Star. I also love how they went with neutral colors, like colors you'll actually wear. The names, content, baby content. I was like, if one of the shades is not called that, I'll be sad. That's hysterical. Basic, pretty, ring, ring. <laughs> boy drama. Chloe, Daisy, their dogs. This is just the cutest packaging. I'm so proud of them. Go check it out. Tarte times pretty basic. Very exciting. I can't wait to get into this. Fangirling a little bit because I've been following DP Hue for the longest time and I think their products are the coolest thing. Um, so they sent me this DP Hue gloss. It's a deep conditioner. And then I have heard so much about this apple cider vinegar hair rinse. Like apparently it's just insanely amazing and i just cannot wait to use this as well so reviews to come on this but thank you so much dp hue from skims um i saw keaton was posting about how the masks are back in stock and i've seen everyone post about these and i actually didn't even realize it was skims i just thought the shape was really cool they look really comfy so i got this um neutral color and then i splurged and got myself a little valentine's gift i got this um like dark i just think it's so bougie to sleep in a nightgown like this this is beautiful such great quality my first skims purchase actually so i will let you guys know how i feel about these things and last but certainly not least from jane Wynn jewelry i'll link this down below she has these coin necklaces that all represent something different I chose this one. It's the strong one. This is one of my words for 2021 is resilient. And I love this. I also have this one that I can um, put the coin on there for a little layering action. But I think her message is so amazing. Um, it's just like a small business. And she started this recently. And I'm just so excited for her. And I love this coin. It's going to go great with some of my other necklaces. So, yay. Alrighty, you guys, that is a wrap for this little college days in my life. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love taking you guys along on the day-to-day. -day. I love you guys so much. I'm so grateful for you guys every day. I'm, like, not used to wearing all this makeup. It's so funny. But I love you all. I hope you have an amazing day. Subscribe if you are new here. And I'll see you guys next time for my next video or next Wednesday. <laughs> Bye, guys. Oh, and happy Valentine's Day.